Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is the what is in my makeup bag video. And I don't think I ever really found a point in me doing this video because for a long time I just kind of worked out of my drawers, my big drawers. I never really had just my bag of makeup that was my go-to until the last couple of months I've really just kind of conformed into a bag, took out the stuff I didn't use and I'll switch it out every now and then. But what's in this bag has been in here for the most part for a while. I guess this would be kind of like my summer makeup bag video because it's a lot of, you know, particular items such as highlighters and stuff. I have more of those. Things like that because it's summertime and I'm not wearing that much makeup. I just recently got this makeup bag. If you watch my vlogs, I just showed this. I had a Victoria's Secret bag that was a little smaller and I could never get it zipped and it wouldn't hold my big palettes that I like to keep in my bag. I do switch out palettes sometimes, but the ones that I've been having in my bag at all times, they just wouldn't fit. So it was really frustrating. I wanted to be able to just put my makeup into a bag and tuck it away. It was like my makeup seemed to always be out everywhere. It would be in my bedroom, on the dresser, it would be on the couch, it would be everywhere. And I just wanted to feel like I could put it away when I wasn't using it. So I found this bag at TJ Maxx and I have said a million times, it's not the cutest. It's just not my style, but it's not like ugly. I love the shape though. I love that it's big. It's it's deep and then it's also large so it can hold my palettes. This, this bag was $10 and I don't know the brand. I don't remember. I will link it down below if I find it. I'll look in my vlog and I think I said in there what the name was from the tag. But check your TJ Maxx. It opens like this so it's just nice and deep and great. Now my makeup bag is a little excessive because I have a few foundations for when I'm really tan or when I'm not very tan and just things that like I've found that I just kind of need in here so it's a little excessive but I like it. Now there are a couple of brushes in here that I don't keep in my brush holder. I do have a big Morphe brush holder. This is like mainly just all products and a couple of brushes. First thing on top is my Z palette. This is the large. There is an extra large but this is the large Z palette. This has all my shadows. I like to keep this because it has like really like anything I could ever need even though I do have like another shadow palette in here. I just like to have this in there to be able to have any transition colors I may need or highlights. Whatever. The next palette is my Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette. I love this because it has several blushes in it as well as two large highlight shades and I just I use this every single time I do my makeup. This is nice, plus it has this extra large, I still have this in here, extra large mirror. So if I was to be anywhere else, which is not mostly the case, I'm almost always at my house, but if I was to be anywhere else doing my makeup, I would have a large, nice mirror. I have this NARS Casino Bronzer. This is so old and there's actually nothing in it, but this is just my go-to mirror. I always keep this because I can. I don't have to worry about getting my like fingernails in it or anything. I can just hold it. It's all cleaned out and I can just use it and it's a nice size mirror. I love this. I have a travel size hairspray. This is the Triple Sec by Dry Bar. I like this. It's a texturizing hairspray so you can just throw it in your hair and give you a little bit of texture. A beauty blender. This is my, my baby. This is... I just, every time I use a brush now, I feel like it's just sitting on my skin and I hate that. So I love, I just love using this to press in that foundation, concealer, whatever. This is my Holy Grail primer, the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I love this stuff. I do have a couple foundations. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull them all out real quick and run through them. My Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the shade Sand. This is my foundation for when I'm pretty self-tanned. It's what I'm wearing today mixed with another one. This is my foundation for when I'm lighter. I do have a few other foundations, but this is just the, been one I've, the one I've been using when I'm not so tan. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And then I keep this Bare Mineral Bare Skin Foundation. This is the darkest foundation I own. I love mixing this with my Too Faced one when I'm really self-tanned. I have the Smashbox Primer Water. This is the travel size. I love this stuff. I have this setting powder. This is the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics setting powder. I can use this for my pore, to cover my pores, and I can also set under my eyes with this powder. This is another shadow palette I like to keep in my makeup bag. It's the Tartlet Tees palette. It has everything, really, you could need to get a look out of it. It has some matte 
highlighting shades, a shimmery shade, and um, this is what I'm wearing all over my lid today. I did do a tutorial on this look, a dark brown and a dark plum. So these work really well for any kind of look you might want, and it's so small. It just fits right into your makeup bag. This is one of the blushes I keep with me right now because I love this in the summer. It's the Balm Hot Mama blush. It's what I'm wearing today as well. It's a nice coral with gold reflux and sheen to it. It's so beautiful. I love this blush. I can never get enough of it in the summertime, so it is staying in my makeup bag right now. Here's another blush that I've been using a lot lately. It's the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in Nude. It's a really pretty warm rose shade. I love it if I want a matte blush instead of like maybe a coral. And I've been reaching to the, for this a lot lately. It's just as pigmented as it looks in the pan. A little goes a long way and I love it. This is one of my bronzers that I cannot put down. Except for today, I didn't use it because I feel like I've been using it so much. It's the Too Faced Luminous Bronzer in Sweet Tea. I just love it. I love this on my cheeks as a blush bronzer duo if I'm just like going to the pool. It just gives a nice finish. It's so stunning. I love this. My other bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I actually just stuck this back in my makeup bag today because I've been trying to mix it up and this is one of my other favorite bronzers. This is another bronzer that I absolutely love and I haven't used it a lot lately but I like to keep it in my makeup bag because it's so dark. I love to deepen up my contour with this and it's the e.l.f. Blush Bronzer Duo and I believe this is the um, St. Lucia one. The blush is great as well and so is the bronzer so I like to have this one in my makeup bag. This is the powder I've been using a lot lately to set my foundation. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. I don't know the shade. I've had this for a while, but I love this powder. I've been using it a lot lately to set my foundation. In the summer, I felt like it's been breaking up a little bit. These are the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops in Morning Light. I use these a lot because they're a cream highlight. They're so beautiful. You can use this with your foundation. You, I love to use it when I'm going to go out in the sun by the pool because it's just nice and creamy and you don't have to worry about it being powdery or anything. And I like to use this under my powder highlights as well. I have a few concealers. I'm just going to grab them all. I have three. I have two of the Born This Way concealers. The one... Um, in light medium and the one in deep. I've been wanting to contour with this since I've got these. I was like, oh, I have some dark shades I can contour. I just haven't got to yet, but I've kept it in my makeup bag so I remember to. And then I also have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. When I'm really self-tanned, this one in light neutral is a little too light, but I love mixing it with the light medium because I love the coverage of this Urban Decay Concealer. These are really nice as well. Um, they're just a little different in their own way, so mixing them I love. I have a couple mascaras. I have the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex and the original Water and the original Better Than Sex. These are just mini sizes. I have like a few of the full sizes that I got in PR packages, but um, I've just been using the mini sizes up. And I only have a mini size of the waterproof, but I love the waterproof for when I'm going to the pool. I just love the original in general. But I started using a drugstore one today. Actually, I was like, I just need to mix up my mascaras. I've been using the Better Than Sex for, gosh, I don't know, over a year. And I just want to go back to some of my good drugstore ones that I used to use and mix it up. So I just opened this one today. It's the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I love these voluminous butterfly mascaras. They are awesome at separating and voluminizing. This is one of the only brushes I have in my makeup bag. It is the um, little Benefit Do La Hula Kabuki and I love this. It is such a good bronzing brush. I splurged on it because I wanted a really good br bronzing brush and I've been loving this. It just gives the softest flush to your cheeks and your hairline and it's beautiful. It's so soft. I absolutely love it. If you are wanting to invest in a really good bron bronzing brush, I definitely recommend this one. It's so cute and it is so soft and nice and I love it. I also have my mini Becca Opal highlight. I still think this one's my favorite. I, I think I like this one more than my Champagne Pop. So one more highlight so we can just get on past the highlight. This is the ColourPop Churro Super, Sh Super Shock Cheek. I can never say that. It's the biggest tongue twister. So pretty. It was limited edition. I used it today under my Champagne Pop. 
but it's so pretty. And I just love it. I actually have used it as an eyeshadow as well. If they ever bring it back, I will tweet and let you guys know. A couple of eyeliners, a gel liner, just in case I ever... I haven't been using these lately, but I always want them just in case. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black. I love this gel liner. I have my um, Bodyography Pro Eyebrow Pencil. It's got a spoolie on one side and the brush on the other. I keep this brush in here because I can never find it in all my brushes and it stresses me out so I just stick it in here so I know where it is. <laughs> I also have a mini and a full size of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I keep them both in here because I really need to use up the mini one but sometimes it gets lost because it's small and if I'm just in a rush I just have the big one just in case so. I have been loving this eyeliner. It is the Contour Inner Rim Gel Liner by Sephora and it is in the shade Wide Eyed. It's a really pretty flesh tone nude and I have it in my waterline today. It just really brightens the eyes without making it harsh like a white liner. I love this. It's waterproof. It lasts forever and I just I absolutely love this. So I've been using this a ton lately. I have my brow color which is the um, Dope Taupe Shade by ColourPop. It's what I've been using for my brows but I am on the hunt for a new brow pull. I think I want to get one of the new Benefit products. I have my sample of the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation. I got this as a promotion from Sephora when I ordered from them a couple weeks ago. And I've been wanting to try it. I just haven't yet. I think this is a lighter shade, so I'm going to have to be not so tan. Two lip liners. These are the Catrice Cosmetics Ultimate Stay Lip Liner in Holly Rose Wood. It's a beautiful rose, light brown shade. And then I also have, which is almost the exact same thing, but this is the Urban Decay Ex-Girlfriend Lip Liner, which I love. I just need to sharpen it. I also have my Brow Gel. This is by L'Oreal. It is the um, light to medium shade in the Brow Gel Plumper. I love this. I love the contrast it gives my brows. I have some tweezers. I don't know where these are from. I'm pretty sure I took them from my sister a long time ago, and they're probably from Walmart but they're just in here in case I need to tweeze something or if I need to put on some false lashes. I have one of my scent birds. This is my most recent one in the scent Clean Rain. I just I have these everywhere. So this one's in my makeup bag. And this is by Pure Lease. It's the Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. Hydrates and nourishes, heals and softens. This is great. It makes your lips look so full hydrated when you wear this. I love the way it makes my lips feel. Then I have a few more lip products that just stay in here. My MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color that Miss Nadine got me. I haven't got to wear it yet. I have wanted to like have the perfect look to wear it with and I haven't been wearing that much makeup lately but um, it's so pretty. It, I swatched it on my hand and it like never came off. It's so long lasting but it's just like my shade. A beautiful pinky mauve nude love. So I just keep it in here because I want to put that on. My Dose of Colors Bear With Me liquid lipstick that I absolutely love as well. They're all about the same family. And then the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss and Sugar Pie is another one of my favorites. I just keep this in here in case I want to tone down a lipstick and make it a little bit more nude. So I like to keep this in here just for mainly that purpose. Plus I love the lips, the lip gloss. Then my Soap and Glory Great Kisser Lip Balm in Juicy Peach, but it's now called peaches and cream and you can get it at Walgreens. It's my holy grail. It's what is on my lips right now like under some lip liner. Anytime I'm wearing that I always get asked what's on my lips and it's always that. <laughs> and then this is um, a Charlotte Tilbury lip lacquer in Blondie and I love this. I love it's real thick and long wearing and I just like to put it on my lips especially when we're going out to the water or something like that. When I have really bronze skin, I just love that on my lips. I just like the way it ties my whole look together. So I, I've been wearing a lot of looks like that, so I keep that in my makeup bag too. So I know that seems a little excessive, but that is everything in my makeup bag you guys wanted to see, so I wanted to get this up for you. I've never done a video like this, so I wanted to that for you guys so if you have any more video requests for me just leave them down below and I will get them put up for you guys thank you so much for watching thumbs up this video if you liked it and do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and I will see y'all in my next one bye